Now, translation initially will support translation from English to Chinese, French, German, Italian, and Spanish, and we'll have more language combinations coming in the months to come. Now, when it comes to using Siri to access your other applications, we have SiriKit, and SiriKit can now do more than ever in iOS 11. So now, you can do task management by using Siri to make tasks in OmniFocus or Things, take notes in Evernote, do banking in City Mobile, or even bring up a QR code in WeChat. Now, Siri isn't just a voice assistant, because with Siri intelligence, Siri not only understands your voice, it understands the context, it understands your interests, it understands how you use your device, and this allows it to ultimately understand what you want next. Now, we've all experienced this where Siri can help us predict what apps we might want to use next, give us a time to leave notification based on our calendar and where we are, help us respond to a text message. In iOS 11, Siri uses on-device learning to understand more about topics of interest to us. So it can actually suggest topics we might be interested in learning about in news. It can help us respond with our location for getting to an appointment to someone in messages, and even help us make a calendar appointment based on something we've just booked inside of Safari on the web. And what Siri learns about you on device is now kept synced across all of your devices. So you're dealing with one Siri, but of course, this is kept completely private, readable only by you and your devices. <laughs> Next, let's talk about the camera. People love the fantastic cameras in the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. And in fact, our customers now take a trillion photos per year. It's absolutely amazing. And they take a lot of video too, and today they do it in H.264. But now, with our latest iPhones and iOS 7, they get, we're using HEVC, which is giving us up to two times better compression for camera captured videos, which means less storage space used on your device and less space used in the cloud. And we're applying these same techniques to replace JPEG capture with what we call HEIF, High Efficiency Image Format. It's based on HEVC, and it also provides awesome quality images at half the size on your device. <laughs> and of course, you can still share completely compatibly with others. Now, with the iPhone 7 Plus, we love taking these beautiful portrait photos and now, with iOS 11, we can take low light photographs using optical image stabilization, true tone flash, HDR, delivers incredible image quality. And we're taking the depth information that we can capture with two cameras and exposing it to developers with a new depth API, which has allowed them to do incredibly fun and artistic photos, like this, uh, using, using the depth API. Now, when you're done taking your photos, you go to enjoy them in the Photos app. And one of the ways I love enjoying them is with me the Memories uh, feature, because Memories is able to scan my library and find all kinds of fun events, and now it can do more than ever. It uses uh, machine learning to identify things like sporting events, even weddings, anniversaries, memories of, of your babies. It's really great. And when you go to play those back, you can see them not just in normal landscape orientation, but now watch them in portrait, taking full advantage of the height of your display. Now, when it comes to live photos, we have some great enhancements as well. So you can now trim your live photos, the video around the still. You can mark any part of the video as your key photo, and so much more. So these are some of the big features in iOS 11. There's one other, which is a major redesign to Control Center. Rather than show it in slides, how about we do a demo? All right, let's take our first live look. No, I don't want to do that. Let's take our first live look at iOS 11. Now I'm going to just bring up Control Center, as always. And what you'll notice is Control Center is now a single page. Packs all the features into a single page. Now, of course, it has simple switches. I'll just do an orientation lock. It's got a beautiful little animation there for the orientation lock. It has sliders available, so you can adjust volume like this. But it provides greater depth, because with 3D touch, 3D touching on 